Mary got. Whatever it is, you get stuck in mud and your shoes get stuck and you can't get them out. You keep you take your shoes right. off and you keep on going on the journey. Glory right. to God, you got something yeah, to get no. yeah. that we got to get here. Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God. Giving all honor to God. In his house, we are in his house. We yeah. allow us to stay resident in his house. Glory to God. Yeah. We thank him. We thank you for the, the, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank and honor our pastors in their absence. Yeah. Our pastor, Cynthia Gray, our yeah. daughter, yes. Elder Alice Gray. We, we love them. We, we believe God for travel mercies for them. Yeah. Yeah. But we know that they too need a break. Amen. So we thank God for this opportunity Amen. for them to take a break. Yeah. Glory to God. I thank each and every one of you all. Y'all have no idea how the, the love that I have for this house. Yeah. When I say the love that I have for this house, it took me a while to be able to find a place where I said, I know this is home. Glory yeah. to God. Thank and you know when you are home and you have found your home, you will protect your home at all costs. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. So trust me when I say these hands swing in the spirit and the natural for this house. Glory to God. Glory but to God. I will do whatever it is that I can do yes. to protect this house. Glory to God. Amen. And I thank God for planting me in a place with people such as yourselves. Because I know the heart that you have. You don't have to love on me. You need to love the Lord. And that's Amen. all I have to do. I didn't tell them to put me in a house to love me. Amen. Put me in a house of people that wanted to serve me. Yeah. Yeah. And I thank God for that. I want to thank our YouTube family for joining in. If you find yourself in Jacksonville, at three come listen on a Sunday, first, second, and third Sunday. Stop by at seven thirty p.m. on a Wednesday. Come by and see us for pantry. Pick up a box, whatever it is. Go to guys and speak with sisters on second Sunday, three fifteen Fourth Street, the little church down the hill, and around the corner. Yeah. Around the corner and down the hill. There we go. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on and visit us. Glory to God. So if you will, turn with me to a very familiar passage, but we're going to go just a little bit deeper and catch the revelation on today. Matthew 25. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They sat where, they sat, excuse me, they, they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, mm. and they that were ready went in with him into the marriage. Amen. And the door was shut. Mm. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Mm. Watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Amen. word. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence. We thank you, Lord God, for, for you just being prevalent in our lives. Yes. We thank you that there is nothing too great, Lord God, that you can't handle. We thank you that you meet every single one of our needs and you meet us right where we're at. Yes. Father God, I ask that you Amen. just send a fresh anointing to yes. deliver this word for your people, Lord God. 
Lord God, not my people, not my word, they are yours, but you have ordained for such a time as this to deliver a word such a time such as this. Yes. So send your anointing. Thank you. Jesus, this is your word. Yes. Let me deliver your words with all its meaning and its revelation to your people. Yes. Yes. Holy Spirit, I dare not do this without you. So let's go. Have your way in Jesus' in name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. So, you know, I, I, it don't make sense to stay up here. We don't have to stay up here, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. So I, I want today to take the opportunity to rekindle, if you will, the understanding or the true depth of your relationship with Jesus. Amen. I will never, ever preach religion. I don't believe in religion. I believe that people have religious habits, but when you're walking with Jesus, it is about your relationship. You do not look at your religious habits, because many of people fulfill religious habits, but do not have relationship. That's right. Amen. So I want to rekindle, and my topic for today, and I asked you that subtopic, go figure, right? My topic for today is be ready or be led. Amen. My subtopic is, were you engaged or betrothed? Yeah, yeah, I thought I was going to get a little air silent on that one, glory to God. But there is a very distinct difference between an engagement and a betrothal. Uh -huh. An engagement comes with an intention. I intend to marry this person. I intend to have a relationship with this person. I intend to stay with this person. But intentions mean there's an opportunity for separation. Mm -hmm. Intentions come with changes of mind. Definitely. Intentions come with, mm, I thought this was right, but this isn't for me. Amen. With intentions, you have an opportunity to walk away. Mm -hmm. With betrothal, it is a contract. Back then, when you were betrothed to somebody, you did not have an intention to marry them. That is contractually your spouse from the minute you say, yes, I enter this contract. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. There was no going back and saying, you know, I don't think this person is right for me. Hmm. Figure that out beforehand, because once you say yes, this contract is sealed. Sign, sealed, delivered yes. when you say yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Betrothals meant that the, the intended one, the one that the, the, the husband would come and say, I have a desire for your daughter and I'd like to marry your daughter. This is what I bring to the table. This is what I would like. They formed the contract. Now I went back, y'all know it was in those contracts. I wasn't in the room when that happened, so I don't know. But I know that's the process. When they go through and they say yes, and it is sealed and the betrothal takes place, the man takes himself and whatever else it is, goes back to his father's house. She stays in hers. We are betrothed. We are married in every way but physical relations. Mm. When I walk down the street, no longer am I my own. I am my husband's. I represent him. For a year, though we don't live in the same house, I represent him. When I go and I am addressed, I am addressed as this man's wife. Amen. With all its authority and all its recognition. Amen. When patrols would last from six months to a year, depending on the husband. Okay, so now while he's gone to his father's house to begin to set up and prepare to receive his wife, She's at home preparing. Now, what I find super interesting in this word is what takes place when these 10 virgins are waiting. Okay, so while they come together, back in history, wedding feasts took place at night. They took place at night. Um, what would happen is there would be the virgins in the city would all have lamps. Okay, and because it took place at night in these dark desert places, they had to have lamps. If you did not have a lamp, you couldn't join the procession. Why? 
you couldn't see. You can't see where you're going. You have to have a lamp to light by, because I can have a lamp to light our way, but the truth of the matter <laughs> is it will never really be bright enough for two in a dark desert place. Mm -hmm. So they would have them there, there, they would be waiting, the wife would be waiting in her father's house, and she would be getting ceremonial set because she doesn't know when he's coming, which means I have to begin to put my bridal clothes together because I know I have at least six months. Got to begin to put my bridal clothes together. Got to get my adornments. People would bring gifts, passes, gifts that were passed down from relatives were all brought in so that way when she was ready to go meet her groom, she is dressed in her wedding garb. She has the jewels. She has a crown. She has uh, been anointed with perfumes and oils, smell good, look good, adorn good. What you would hear, and you don't know when you would hear it, but to announce that he's on his way, you would hear, get ready, the groom comes for his bride. Yeah. It would be a loud announcement. Mm -hmm. You would then, the virgins would then get their lamps. Now, in the word, it says that they didn't have oil, but they had their lamps. Now, two things take place in those types of lamps. You have to worry about the trim of the wick mm -hmm. and the oil of the lamp. Amen. So now we have these women that have all got their lamps trimmed because there's a proper way to trim your lamp. Mm -hmm. But you got to have oil in order to set it. And you don't know how far you have to travel from one door to the next. Yeah. So you got to make sure you got enough oil in your lamp. Amen. Amen. You got to be prudent. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. Amen. Lord Amen. God. So where they have this oil in their lamps, here they come. The unwise ones have the lamps, and they're so busy about getting ready and looking the part that you're not ready for the part. That's it. Amen. So now they've got these lamps that are half empty. And not even half empty, they are completely empty. And they figure, oh, I'll just get some of their oil. But a wise woman knows that because I don't know the distance from door A to door B, I need my lamp to be full. Amen. So no, you can't get none of this here. Because mm -hmm. I got to make it to the room. Amen. Now, the bride would have to have a lamp too. But these ten virgins would go out and meet the groom and bring him over to the procession, get her, and then they would go back to where the party, I'm not gonna say the wedding feast, the party took place, where everybody was waiting for the groom to receive her, because that's a whole nother set of festivities that took yeah. place. Amen. We gonna focus on the betrothal okay. and, the, and the meeting. Amen. So while they're getting together and the lamps are not full, what happens is when they come, the groom comes and picks up his bride, they don't go to the wedding feast. What they do is they go back to the father's house and they are escorted to the bridal suite where the consummation of the marriage takes place. Mm -hmm. So they go in and they close the door. That door is not open for that bride to be seen or anybody else to come in for seven days. The door is shut. So now here come these seven foolish virgins knocking on the door saying, we got some oil, let us in now. Oh, that door been shut. My bride is inside already. I've got my bride already. Because I know I got my bride because I've been able to walk her past those that witnessed her coming in and I've shut the door. That will not be open for seven days. So while these seven foolish virgins are sitting there for these seven days, lost and confused, not able to get in, those seven wives are in there consummating their marriage. Those five, excuse me, are consummating their marriage. And at the end of that seven days was the wedding feast where everybody came in their best clothes. They came in their wedding clothes. They celebrated with the best <laughs> of the best that you had. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go back. 
when we come in and we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there should be nothing less than the, than the desire for a betrothal, not an engagement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you came into this relationship with Jesus saying, I'm going to test it out, you got engaged, not betrothed. You had no intentions of possibly staying. You might stay. But the truth of the matter is, if it ain't from me, I'm walking. Some people come in and they're made up their minds that I want to stay and I have a heart to stay. Situations and circumstances take place and then they want to cut out. But see, Jesus is the kind of man that don't, listen, what's mine is mine. Mm -hmm. What's mine is mine. I know the difference between those that want to get engaged to me and possibly leave as opposed to want to be betrothed to me and stay. I know the difference between those that are betrothed to me and struggling because they don't know who they are. They don't know their identity in me. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So when we get with Jesus and we decide that this is our life, for him I live and for him I die, this is, this is my husband in every way, glory to God, until he comes back to pick me up, I represent him. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I represent him. Amen. Thank you. In representation, there is an authority for your status. I am the wife of the king. As the wife of the king, there is a certain thing I'm not going to allow you to do. Because I have to carry myself and represent this person. I have to represent this man. So I'm not going to go out there and act foolish in the street. I'm not going to let you treat me foolish. Why? Because I am the wife of the king. It's not being high-minded and, and, and boastful or anything like that. The truth of the matter is who you are in Jesus says something. If he says, don't worry about the clothes on your back, the food on your table, he says, worry not because I got you because I am your husband and I will see to it that what you need, I provide. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. What I love about him is that a husband was not legally responsible for her provisions until after consummation, until she came to live with him, then he was responsible. He said, I'm not gonna wait till I come back and get you to make sure you have all you need. He said, if I press these flowers in the field that I am not connected to like that, how much will I do for you? Amen. If I sat up here and fed the birds in the field, if I feed the wild animals out there that ain't got no credit card, EBT card, or wallet to go to a store, how much more am I going to do for you? If I tell you that the enemy has no power over you, if I tell you that my blood covers you, and because you stand in the face of the enemy, that he can't touch you, why are you allowing him to tell you who you are and who you're not? I can see your in your eyes. I seal in your identity. During those that, that time period, so now we're sitting in that time period uh, of between the betrothal and, and the wedding feast. And, and the return to come and claim us. So we are sitting in that time period. This is a very long year, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's a very long year. Yeah. But it's a year that we are called to represent the king. Amen. When you walk down the street, people should be able to see yes. you are a bride. Male or female, this is not gender. Yeah. It, it, it has no That's gender. Right. That's right. Okay, understand, the kingdom of God has no gender. Earth has gender. Amen. 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 You are the bride of Christ. Yes. How are you representing him out in these streets? Yes. When you walk out there and you begin to speak, when they hear you, are you talking like a bride that has pride and, and, and integrity? 
Yeah. I am the yeah. wife of a king. Yeah. Yeah. I belong to the king. Yeah. That's right. Are you conducting transactions yeah. with truthfulness and honesty, yeah. knowing Come on, you man. belong to the king? Yeah. And whatever goes yeah. wrong, somebody has the ability to go to him and say, you know what? Jeez. This one came to me and was wrong in this. This is yours. Yeah. He got the answer for it. Why? Because you belong to him. This is the only time that I will sit up there and say any, that, that, that I will give anybody that much territory over me. You understand? <laughs> to be able to say, oh no, that I belong to him. Yep, I belong to him. If he say jump, I jump. If he say how high, I just yeah, how jump. High. How high, Lord? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Take two steps forward, walk back, and spin around in circles. Yes, sir. Only person. Uh -huh. Only one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. When you get out there and you're among people, mm -hmm. how are you representing yourself? Amen. When you're among friends, when you're among enemies, when you're among those little people you played with in the streets before you got betrothed, yeah. how are you representing yourself? Are you representing yourself and saying, you know what, I understand what I was yesterday. I understand how we played and joked around yesterday. Mm -hmm. But today, mm -hmm. I belong to the king. So I've got to, I, uh, that stuff, I, I, it's not that I'm above you, I don't, I'm not trying to tell you I'm better than you, but the truth of the matter is I serve one better than us all. I belong to one that doesn't allow me to take shorts or shortcuts in what I do and how I do it. He requires me to be held at this standard, so I've got to walk that and be that. That's right. Praise God. Glory to God. So now, while we're sitting there and we're waiting and we're getting our adornment, our adornment, and, and, and we, we got to have our oil ready. You can't come with an empty lamp. Trey, how am I supposed to? I know you're not talking about no real oil. You're not talking about no real oil. You ain't talking about no real oil. No real oil. You go to the oil store and put your oil in here. No. I mean, it's good to have one on hand with all this going on in the world. I'm not going to tell you don't do it, but I'm going to tell you that that's, what, that's not what that's talking about concerning us. Yes. Amen. Your oil comes from your friends. Yes. Your oil comes from being in situations that are tight and uncomfortable where you've got to be squeezed <laughs> till something comes out. Oh, wow. And listen, before the good comes out, the bad comes out first. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're not going to get oil right away that's just it. because you begin to feel a little squeeze. Yeah. That's right. Sweat, blood, and tears going to come out first. Right. That's right. Yeah. All the impurities we picked up and then took, yeah. they're going to come out. That's right. Amen. You understand? All the filth and all the infection yeah. has to come out oh, first. Yeah. That's right. yeah. When God has squeezed yeah. you yeah. and gotten out the old, yeah. yes. glory to God, I want you to go and I want you to bathe. Yeah. And I want you to begin to wash this off. Yeah. I want you to begin to strip it off. I want you to begin to wash it away. I want you to begin to wash it away. Yeah. Wash it away. Now when it goes down the drain, I have never known anybody to see dirty water go down the drain and try to go back to it. Come on now. Come on now. So if you got dirty again, you went back to the dirty place. Yeah. Right. That's right. Take it now. Take it now. Thank you, Jesus. So when you get to a place where you have gotten pressed and all of that has been washed off of you. Come on now. You have been anointed with fresh oil. You have been dressed in clean, pure clothes. Mm -hmm. Clothes that fit your status. Yes. Clothes that fit who you are. Yes. Now you can go forth. And there's always a little break in there between the next week. It is. Why? Because I need you to see Amen. what my work in you is yes. doing. You there's a season for everything. Glory to God. So this is your rest. So while you're in your rest season, yes. I want you to go out there and I'm going to let you 
represent me as you said you are. You said yes, you understand, you are, you are belong to the king. That's right. Glory to God. I want to say the wife of the king, but I need you to understand it's not gender, no gender. It has nothing to do with that. But I don't want anybody to feel awkward like that. But I'm a man. No, we uh, we identify with we identify and recognize each and every one of the men in this house as true men of God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we go forth and we represent, and we've got that rest period, and then all of a sudden, here comes somebody trying to throw, throw dirt mm. uh -oh. on your name. Mm. Here goes somebody trying to steal your resources, trying to steal your peace. Why? Because now you have identified yourself as belonging to the king. I am the wife of the king. I am a bride. I am not a single woman out here with single woman rights. Amen. I am a bride. Amen. Amen. So when I'm out here representing as a bride, your haters who have always wanted you to walk with them, who have always wanted you to get high with them, you understand, smoke with them, go out there, start trouble with them, talk the little jokes with them, go out there man hunting with them, woman hunting with them, whatever the it was that you want to because we all did it. Okay? There was not a person in here unless you were born yesterday. Glory to God. So whatever it was you entertained, it's going to come and recognize you are a bride now. You don't look the same. You don't sound the same. You don't talk the same. You ain't the same. There's something different about you. You funny now. I'm not funny, I'm saved. I'm not funny, I'm saved. Recognize the difference. Funny means this is ha ha. Ain't nothing ha ha about this.
And you understand? <laughs> Snatch you up and take you right out the back door. I got you. Whatever it is, you understand? They know. Yes. They know. My my prayer is that the people of God. Yes. And I'm not, I, I love the people of God, but Mount Sinai yes. to walk upright. Hallelujah. Knowing who you are. Yes. Knowing who you belong to. Yes. That ain't got nothing to do with the war, but these war wars. Right. But when you walk out this door, and these doors are locked today, and you go to your next destination, are you walking out there, going to the restaurant, and saying, mm, look at this one. So, or are you standing there Treating people like you want to be treated. Yes. Right. Right. Recognizing that everybody broke, everybody ain't on your status. Right. But that don't mean you treat them like garbage. That's you right. are a royal. That's right. Right. You That's understand? Right. You are not a dictator. That's right. Right. Glory to God. Amen. What are you representing? I want everybody to walk out here bold enough to tell all of those trying to pick up the phone and call you and pull you back into yesterday. Come on now. Be bold enough to say, no. Right. Not to talk. That's right. Not today. That's right. Be bold enough to say, you know what? I love you right. I love you from here. That's right. But come you got now. to stay there. Right. 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 Because you can't come here, and I can't come there, and neither the two shall meet. That's right. We have nothing else to discuss right now. Right. Right. So I wish you the best. Yeah. I wish you the best. I love you. Yeah. And I have nothing but the best of prayers for you. Right. But until we begin to walk the same path, I got to walk this way. Right. I got to, you can't Amen. walk this way. Right. And begin to cut people off. That's right. Listen, when it got so, I knew that I had to cut off a lot of things and people because my betrothal and my representation was at risk. That's right. Because I could not operate like I wanted to, represent like I wanted to, serve like I wanted to. Come on. Baby. I said, Lord, begin to cut it off. Come on. Begin baby. to cut them off. Come on now. Cut off who don't fit on my boat. Come cut on. off who is not supposed to be attached to me. Matter of fact, begin to prune the leaves. Yeah. Chop off those that are trying to root. Yeah. Come on. You understand? Now. Chop it off. Why? Because I've got some place to go and I got something to do. And Lord, I can't do it with all of this weight. Yes, Lord, I know I tied that one off. I know I tied that one off. And that one's got some got some little some little tendrils in there. Almost stuck. But they ain't rooted. Mm -hmm. That's right. But I'm having trouble getting them off. Mm -hmm. So I need you to step in. That's right. And I need you to begin to undo what I've done. Yeah, right. I repent, Lord. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Uh, Liv, what's the what's the saying you say? The the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Ooh, yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And I was paved in a road, paved in a road. But I got a destination. Yeah. I got a destination yeah. that ain't hell. You know. It ain't hell. Yeah. I don't like 90 degrees in North Carolina. I know I ain't going to hell. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know no reason, you understand? Man, yeah. listen, up there in the North yeah. where it's dirty heat, I know I can't take it. If it's dirty heat up there, yeah. you know what kind of heat you're dealing with down there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Listen, oh, I want Lord. you to get excited. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because in Jesus, oh. in your betrothal, what he has decided to do for you even before there was a consummation or a union, there's no taking that back. What he said is for you is for you. Amen. Let me ask you something. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. If your spouse comes up to you and gives you something and says, this is yours, this is your ring, this is your clothes, this is your bag, this is your pot, this is your Listen, this is your hat, whatever. whatever. Somebody comes up and tries to take it mm. and claim it. You mean to tell me you're going to let them take it? Mm -hmm. Man, you're going to Vaseline your face up if you're from, if you're from the hood. You're going to tie that skirt up, <laughs> take off your earrings, tie your hair up, and you're going to be ready to fight for what's yours. You're going to be ready to fight for what's yours. You're going to be ready to fight. So why are we so hell bent to fight for what's in the world? For fight for all of this material stuff that withers, but won't fight 
for what you have in the spirit. Yes. For what God says is yours. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Listen, every promise in that word, that's not going to my turn, my iPad, I'm not going to pick that up. Every promise in the word is for you. That's right. Every curse in that word is the response is the consequence if you don't follow through that's right to get those blessings and the promises in that word come on now so every curse is for you you go wrong every blessing is for you if you go right that's that right. word did not mean it meant what it said and it said what it meant that's right. glory to god amen so i want you to understand that we've got to be ready that's to be ready or we're gonna be left Amen. I don't like the world now, but you got to go out there and you got to serve. And we got a job to do out there. So we've got to endure and suffer long. Right. We do. Mm -hmm. But that's not your home. That's right. Don't be called looking like it. Don't be called acting like it. Dancing ain't acting like it unless you're dancing like it. I love to dance. I pray to dance. That's why when Sister Gussie said that, I was like, no, listen, get that robe on or whatever. I Listen, enjoy yourself. I love to dance. I love to have a good time and I love to smile. I love to see people smile. You understand? But I also know that there's a limit to the madness. Right. Yeah. You understand? Because why? I represent my husband, the king. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. You go, sis. He's ready or be left. Now that you know the difference between engaged and betrothed, when you said yes, did you get engaged or did you get betrothed? Right. I believe everybody in here got betrothed. I do. Amen. I do. I do believe Praise that everybody the Lord. got betrothed. Praise the Lord. Everybody. I believe that everybody has situations and circumstances and in ignorance, not <laughs> knowing who you are and your authority or how to live your life. Right and representation fell for the okie doke of the enemy, right. fell for the lies, fell for the connection, fell for the traps. Thank you, Elder Jose. Jose. Got bamboozled. Mm -hmm. But now that you know who you are, yeah. there's no more excuses. Amen. There's no more excuses. Amen. Because when you don't sit there and allow him to squeeze you in that uncomfortable place to get the impurities out, they're going to always stay in there, which means oil will not flow. You will not have oil for your lamp. Yes. yes. You've got to allow yourself, and that's how you know this word was for certain people, and certain people wasn't in the house. And that's okay. They better get on YouTube. Glory to God. You've got to allow yourself to be squeezed. Yes, it hurts. Yes. That's right. Yes, it's lonely because I can't get in your vice grip and be squeezed with you. Why? Because then your impurities come on to me, and I've been squeezed. I'm still getting squeezed. A little, little, little dirt come out here and there. Got to go through the fire and purify. Yes, that's right. That's right. You understand? That's right. It is what it is. But if I get in your vice grip, where you got to be squeezed, and you got all those extra impurities, I'm picking up what you squeezing out, and then we both getting dirty. We can't do that. So you got to go through this squeeze on your own. Yes, it is lonely. Yes, it hurts. No, it does not feel good. But it is so ever so necessary. Yes, right. it is. Why? Because you will not have oil for your lamp if you do not go through the process. Amen. Amen. Stay put. Amen. Stay betrothed. There's no going back. That's right. Amen. There's no going back. Amen. Amen. You understand? You will die. Listen, I would rather you die saved early in your safe state to be claimed up. Yeah. To be caught up with the first set of the, the first, first 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 set of brides That's right. from the grave, knowing you died in your salvation. That's right. In the right state. That's right. To be caught up. That's then right. to sit up there. And let you go back and forth after foolish. That's right. Come on and now. And risk. Come on now. Not being able to see that door open for them seven years of tribulation. Right. Jesus, Jesus. Sure, my God. You understand? Listen. 
We are beautiful brides. We are beautiful brides. Who you are. Yes. Will you ready or be left? Amen. Amen.